Hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning in for another TV box stop review. Today I have a box that is quite different. It not only looks powerful, but it runs on the latest MLogic S905X2 CPU and the Mali G31 GPU on DDR4 memory, and it comes with new features first for 2019. This box is the A95X Max Quad-Core Android 8.1 4K TV box. This box boasts of being able to solve all your storage problems faced on Android TV boxes, and at the same time deliver strong performance and great entertainment. So stay tuned, a full review is coming up next. So I'm back and as usual I will start with the box that it's shipped in. This box comes with specs at the bottom. It says that the model is the A95X Max. The CPU is the MLogic S905X2 Quad-Core A53. The GPU is the ARM Devlin MP2 GPU. It has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage, and it has 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi. So without further ado, I'll do a quick unboxing. In the box you have the TV box itself. You get this big infrared remote. It has dedicated buttons to open Netflix YouTube recording and apps and it can also be programmed to control your TV. You get one HDMI cable. A 5 volts 2.5 amps DC power adapter. A pack of mounting screws and a user's manual. Let's take a look at its design and what features we have on this box. Well for starters the housing is made of plastic with the logo printed to the top. Also to the top here we have a special feature and I will return to that in a second. To the back you have one HDMI, one USB 2.0, one Ethernet LAN port, one audio video port, one optical audio and a DC power input. This lever here is related to the special feature to the top, and I will show that after I finish with the rest of the ports. To the side you get three USB 3.0 ports and this is the first Android box to carry three of them, and there's a micro SD card reader. To the front you have an LED clock display. And to the bottom you have lots of ventilation holes. Returning to the top of the box, right around the edges there are lots of ventilation holes which is important for what I am about to show. This lever is actually a latch that opens up the top of the box to access this SATA SSD or hard drive bay. They have strategically placed the bay at the top along with adequate vents to provide proper heat management. The included mounting screws are used to fasten the drive to this metal frame by removing these three screws. This is the first TV box to come with this design and I'm quite eager to see how it applies or benefits the user. So I'm all connected, and upon first start what you'll see is this boot up animation for a few seconds. Then you're taken to this startup wizard that only has to be filled out once. Once completed, you're then taken to the launcher. So this is the launcher, and believe me when I say I am quite delighted to see the layout of this one. After seeing all those boxes with no navigation bars, this one brings a breath of fresh air. The launcher is simple, and though it may not have the most flashy interface, it is the best launcher I have come across for a long time. I'll show you what I mean. The launcher comes with these large main buttons that can actually be changed. This is done by simply pressing and holding on the OK button on the remote, or via clicking and holding the mouse button, and selecting which app you would like to replace the current one. 
This feature is not available in most, if not all TV boxes, you usually cannot change these main buttons on the launcher. In similar fashion you have this shortcuts bar here at the bottom. This bar scrolls horizontally like the main bar, and you can add or remove any amount of shortcuts you want by clicking on the add button and selecting which apps you would like to add. To remove a shortcut you simply click and hold on the shortcut, and select remove or replace the shortcut as you so wish. Other features include, a navigation bar with a screenshot button, a notifications bar at the top, a weather widget, and a date and time widget, and you also have a one-click memory cleanup button for freeing up system resources. In my opinion, lots of thought based on user experience and comments went into designing this new launcher, and it is one of the best launchers for 2019 thus far, and I'm giving the makers of this box high marks for that. In the apps section, besides the usual apps like App Installer and Google Play Store, they have included some special apps, some of which are unique to this box. They have included the Cetus Play app, a Go Recorder app, a Root Browser app, and a TV Store app. There's no Miracast or Airpin Pro, and Netflix has not been pre-installed. I will touch on these special apps during the review, but before I do, I will install my usual set of apps to complete this review. So I've installed all my apps and I'll now check to see if the box is rooted. It shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 8.1 Oreo operating system. This is great news, but if you go to the advanced settings area, this box comes with a manual root switch that allows you to turn the root back on if you so please. I now show its DRM information. It shows that you only have Google Widevine Level 3, and no HDCP encryption. This means that Netflix cannot show in HD or 4K and it will only show in standard quality. Let's look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this box is Amlogic, and the model is the A95X Max. It comes with 4GB of RAM which is DDR4 memory, and this is the remainder of the storage after the Android installation and all the apps I have installed. The Bluetooth version here is 4 Plus, which indicates that the Bluetooth version is 4.1. The CPU is a 64-bit Cortex-A53 quad-core CPU running up to 1.7 GHz in 32-bit mode. Below here it shows that the box has support for 32-bit ABIs, allowing it to access up to 4 GB of RAM to run all applications. The GPU is the single-core Mali G31 graphics processor, with a refresh rate of 60 Hz and OpenGL ES version 3.2. This is great news, because it means that this box will do great at playing games and 4K videos of all formats. Under Network, it shows that the box has dual band 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi support. Under Android information, it shows that the operating system is Android 8.1 Oreo, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under Thermal information, it shows that the box runs between 45 to 50 degrees Celsius under normal room temperature, and this can rise up to 65 degrees under heavy activity. Applying a cooling fan like the Evercool RCO2 will maintain a temperature between 30 and 50 degrees. The box comes with codecs for playing 4K videos like HEVC, H.264 and VP9 decoding, and a couple of others all needed for the playback of 4K media. And that's it for system and hardware information, and now let's see what this box can do. First, let's see if you can change the launcher. The Nova launcher works fine on this box and I have tried other launchers and they all work fine. On this box Netflix doesn't come pre-installed, but I managed to install a working version off of the Aptoid App Store, since the version on the Google Play Store just wouldn't allow me to install it. Due to the lack of the required Google Widevine Level 1, an HDCP encryption that protects against piracy, Netflix can only show in standard quality. As you can see there's no HD symbol showing up in the movie description. Nonetheless, standard quality is very watchable and if all you have is a standard account, then it really doesn't make a difference. The YouTube app doesn't come pre-installed but it is available on the Google Play Store. The Android TV version is also available in the Aptoid App Store and it installs without issues. I will now run a 4K YouTube video sample.
The Android TV version plays in 4K quality and here is the stats for nerds information. The A95X Max together with the hard drive expansion bay comes with a recording app which allows you to record anything on your screen. In the settings area, you can choose what resolution you would like to record in, but it is limited to 720p resolution. In the workspace setting, here you can choose where you would like to save the recorded video. You can select the internal storage on the box, or an external storage device like a flash drive or SD card, or you can select the drive you inserted into the hard drive expansion bay. I will now do a quick recording of my activity on the box. And it's simple as that. All your recorded videos will be displayed here where you can play them, rename, or delete them. Staying on the expansion bay. I installed a 250GB hard drive, but you can use an SSD if you have. The expansion bay can handle up to 2TB and you can convert it to internal storage or leave it as additional storage, the choice is yours. This is the first box for the first quarter that provides this feature and it takes away the constraints of limited storage to work with. Another app included on this box is the App Store for Android TV. This app is similar to the Aptoid App Store and it provides some apps and games for this box. Some might find it useful but after going through its features I found that the Aptoid App Store is better. As we proceed, I will now run some 4K video samples to see how it handles the playback. I'm playing these videos off my USB 3.0 flash drive.
In similar fashion to all the other S905X2 boxes, most of the 4K samples played OK with two of the samples having some difficulty, including the 4K Jellyfish video. I will now run some games to test its 3D graphics performance. I have also tested the keymapping app and it works fine on this box. That's good play. Got to be. It's a goal. The games ran ok, and you have keymapping capability on this box. And that's it for the live demonstrations. Let's now take a look at its benchmarks. First, I have the results of the RAM and internal storage read and write speeds. The A95X Max has a RAM copy speed of 2027 MB per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 147 MB per second and a write speed of 103. And the SD card results here which is the expansion bay, has a read speed of 50 MB per second and a write speed of 60. These scores are average scores for a TV box in this price range, and indicates that this box has decent transfer speeds. And now I have the results of the Wi-Fi speed test. The results show that the A95X Max has very good Wi-Fi and LAN speed connection. It was able to hit the maximum download and upload speed of my internet package of 40 megabytes on all connections. I now show the results of the Antutu benchmark. And it shows that the A95X Max got a score of 56,380. This score is a bit lower than the score I got on the X96 Max, which scored around 59,200. Next I have the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. The box scored 669 single-core, and 2035 multi-core. Again the score here being slightly lower than the X96 Max. The final benchmark is the Ice Storm Extreme and the Slingshot GPU benchmark. The A95X Max got a score of 4782 in the Ice Storm Extreme test, and 489 in the Slingshot test and once again the score being slightly lower than the X96 Max by 9%. In summary, the A95X Max in my opinion is one of the best boxes to buy for 2019 thus far. First off it features a storage expansion bay capable of handling a SATA drive of up to 2TB in size. 
It comes with three USB 3.0 ports, 4GB of DDR4 RAM, 64GB of internal storage. The housing comes with ventilation holes to the top and bottom, with a removable top cover to install an external drive which can also increase ventilation by providing an open case option. It runs on the latest S905X2 CPU and the Mali G31 GPU which has been doing well for the year so far. It has a really simple but efficient user interface and launcher, with interchangeable main buttons and navigation bar. The box is rooted, running on the full version of Android 8.1 operating system, and it comes with a root switch in the settings area. It has very good Wi-Fi reception hitting the max speed on my internet package on all connections. It does not come with a lot of apps, however it does provide a few unique apps like the recording app, the Android TV custom app store, and the Cetus Play app. You can install Netflix but the official version from the Google Play store will not work. The highest version from the Aptoid store works fine. It played most of my 4K videos and YouTube plays in 4K quality. Gaming on this box was good as usual with the Mali G31 GPU, and you have full keymapping capability. The benchmark scores weren't the highest, but consistent with other S905X2 boxes. On the downside, they governed the CPU max frequency to 1.7 GHz to manage heat, and it was reflected in the benchmark scores. Below the box there is a vent for a cooling fan as shown in the description images, however, it doesn't come with a fan installed. If you are so technically inclined, there is a fan port on the board to install a fan if you want. Netflix shows but only in standard quality. It has no DRM support for Netflix and other premium streaming services to show in HD quality, but this does not affect free streaming services. Two of my 4K samples had some difficulty, and the included remote does not have an air mouse feature. So that concludes my review of the A95X Max TV box. I hope you enjoyed my review and it was all possible because of your continued support. If you are interested in this box see the links in the description area directly below this video and on my website where you can get it at the best price online. Thanks for watching, and remember the links in the description area support me in getting more of these TV boxes for my reviews. And as always, like and share to help spread this video on social networks, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the little notifications bell, to be notified of the next TV box stop video.